<clears throat> uh, where we left off, by the way, is we overloaded the reactor. I am now up in Med Bay. And I have very little flamethrower ammo left, which is really a bummer. Yes, Sarah Bear, absolutely. I'm using a new keyboard, so I need to We've got to get to it. Get a feel Is it for it. Okay. No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. All right, here we go. Yes, I did hear about that, Altera. Back in the mid bay. Auto save. All right, that's no. Okay. Wow, that was a very quick auto save. I'm really ready for that. Oh shit! I see a launch on my terminal. Marlo's already taken one of the shuttles. Oh god, I remember this spot. Oh shit! Okay, so there's an android. Oh man, so we've got androids and xenos. I saw the red eyes. Also, are we good on volume? Boy, I would love it if I had more flamethrower ammo. Good night, Jareth.
Yeah, okay, so there's an android there. I think his back is facing me. Welcome aboard. So we're gonna go. Thank you for the raid. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Welcome aboard. Oh boy. Everybody coming along with Woodgy, welcome in. Really appreciate y'all being here. Would you thank you so much for the raid? Just punch the dash. What about you? Launch ambulance shuttle. Oh. Uh, I'm Dr. Mick. I think you all know me. Uh, Void, thank you for the follow. Would you? I love you. Thank you so much. What's about to happen? I have no idea what's about to happen. Baby, let's go. Uh, for everybody coming along with Widgie, I have never played this game before. It is a blind playthrough, so please, no spoilers, please, no backseating, please, nothing that even remotely looks like it could be a spoiler. Uh, I uh, am enjoying not knowing what I'm doing. Okay, I'm like super stressed out, man. Knowing the Xenomorph is back. Ricardo, can you hear me? Okay, so the worst part of this is that there were multiple xenomorphs that got out. So this isn't even like, okay, well, we just flew the ambulance over here so we don't have to worry about it. This is like, oh shit, like these dickwads are everywhere. So now like, it doesn't even matter that I just took that ambulance over here. Like there could so easily be another xeno in here. There are lots. Oh, jeez. Wow. Why would... <laughs> what, a, what a design decision there. Oh, my God. It's like, no, no, no. Who designed this? Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I was like, no, there's two of them. I only have 95 gas canister left. This is too scary. Oh, man. Definitely a hole design. 
Oh my god. Also, can we maybe like get some lights on? What other Okay, so I have revolver and shotgun ammo and I got one bolt gun ammo, so Guns actually help. They do. So if I use the flamethrower, the flamethrower can scare the alien away. And guns can kill androids. Gun does jack shit to the alien. Oh, Jesus. Oh. LM link. Signal detected. Marlo, Heist says he's just picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? Oh shit, Nostromo. Technician's report. 1024-2137. Marlo, I just had to do some much needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon. And not just for the core system. We keep pushing her like this, and we're going to end up being the only salvage crew hitchhiking through deep space. It's going to be an expensive job, so let's hope you're right about the beacon. It could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key code afterwards. The new one's 4510. All right, 4510. Brian, don't you do it. We're outside Sebastopol. Marlo and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But, well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Milo's ship. She's Milo's wife. And things got heated, and Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Milo doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Okay, so here's something that's always fascinated me about the alien universe and even this game. Is why did why are people in this game so damn, you know, excited about money? It doesn't even seem like there's anything to spend it on. Like is Earth some kind of crazy utopia that's got a bunch of shit to blow money on? Whatever, that's beside the point. What's this? Shotgun shell, flamethrower fuel, shot flamethrower fuel. You love to see that. You love to see that. Except you don't, because that usually means something bad's coming. It was an 80s take on the dark side of capitalism. That makes sense. All right, is this our room? Door locked. Well, there's been a moment in this little red boat that uh, they gave me a bunch of ammo and then I had to use it. So, okay. I'm guessing this is where I'm supposed to be. Bring the Anisadora systems back online. Okay. Oh, this is going to be nice and loud. You just what you want in this game. You want things to be loud. I just want to bang everything as loud as I possibly can because you know who loves noise? Xenomorph. You know who I love? Xeno. That's what I love. Well, let's make a lot of noise. Let's just all yell. Hit buttons and yell. Turn on noisy machines. Yeah, come on. Come on, alien. Come on. You little bitch. I make the noise around here. Oh my god, and this is loud. Holy shit. Oh, 
is this? I'm just waiting for this asshole to come through this door. Use the access tuner. Would love to. This is too much noise. This is too much noise! My lord. Ricardo, in case you're here, I've got the Inusador's basic power systems back online. Door should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marvel. No idea which way to go. Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? I can swear I hear thumping. Y'all hear that? See you later, lady. We think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo. Wayland Utani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Holy shit, what was that? God. Piece of shit. Oh. I'm so scared to look at this now. If we hear screaming, okay. Whatever it was that attached itself to Foster is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Foster said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her into hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I can show the process. Sevastopol's the nearest station, so I'm gonna get her checked out. Quarantine will still be a problem, but I figured the Nostromo flight recorder might be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. This is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. <laughs> Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sevastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Waits up. Now I'm like waiting for more goddamn face huggers. Not always, Nova. Oh my god, it's like we're going in the depths of hell. 
No. I tried to save the monster. Brought up the Sebastian Paul. Broke all the rules. Get to the door. That was stupid of me. Stupid. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can't. All you can do is refuse to engage. You gotta wipe out every trace. Destroy any clue. Stop its infection from spreading. Make sure there's no chance of the human race ever making contact with it again. Because the moment it makes contact, it's one. The company is never going to know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. Oh. How much you want to bet? This asshole is about to do the opposite. And he's just going to be like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to fucking nuke this thing to orbit. And I don't really give a shit about you. Like, that seems ominous. And there's been enough dumb shit that's happened in Alien with people making decisions like that. I truly... Watch this asshole try to blow this shit up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're talking a little too ominously for me, friend. Right? Come out. I fucking dare you. All right. I believe it, Knox. Yeah, that noise is the flamethrower. Oh, this looks promising. Oh. This looks loud. Boy, for a game based on stealth, there sure is a lot of shit that's loud. All right. I wonder what that is. Okay. Ooh. You flight recorder data. Added report. Personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you my sweetheart and I hope you get to hear it one day you see I um I got into trouble um my ship there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature it was very dangerous and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship uh I'm okay I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. doesn't bode well i don't like this i don't i don't like this at all this is not my favorite strider thank you for the gifted sub to kiwi appreciate that buddy oh my god yeah that's right not really the way i wanted to hear my mother's voice oh what up fam what are you doing what are you doing 
What are you doing? God. Systems, hack maintenance. I need power sent to the auxiliary power. generator. Look for the letters A U X. I found it. Okay, power. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit the button. Maintenance terminal, okay. It'll be there, Come Taylor. on, you can hack a mirror. Oh boy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Of there. Total system wide cascade failure. Oh, fuck. Marlow forced an overload. The ship's gonna tear itself. Get out! Get out! Run! Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh shit! Oh my god! No! Oh god, oh god! Okay, calm people live, tense people die. Calm people live, tense people die. You got this, Amanda. You got this. Come on, baby. Just remember which way you went. Just remember how you got in here. Nice and easy. Holy shit. Nice and easy. No Xenos. Don't worry. Come on. We're going to go right through here. Okay. We're not going that way. We're going this way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh my god. Open door. Go. Oh. Oh my god, Amanda. Go. Go. Oh god. Come on, baby. No more face huggers. No more face huggers. No whammies. No face huggers. Don't crawl like the ethanol. Don't worry about it. Come on, baby. Ooh. 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 No xenomorphs. No xenomorphs. Mm, don't worry about the safe station. Oh my god. Go. Go, go. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was so stressful. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god oh my god that may have been the most stressful part of this entire game so far oh my god 
Oh. Oh my lord. Oh. Oh my god. 127's a new record? That may be a new record. Oh my god. That's two beats a second. Oh my god. Yeah, that's my heart rate. Oh, I'm like shaking. I am legitimately shaking. Holy crap. All right. Oh, I'm going to bring myself down here for a second. That was so intense. That was so intense. Mm. Oh, okay. Take a breath. Take a thing. Thank you all for being here. I really love that all of you are here to experience this with me. Ricardo. Ricardo. Oh. Find a way to contact the torrents. Okay, well, here's the problem. The broadcast from the lane just updated. Now we're back in Xenoland. Can you respond? We just saw a ship blow on your starboard side, took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please, tell us what's going on in there. We, we can take survivors. I'll leave this channel open. Torrents out. Oh. Oh, the pacing in this game is impeccable. Legitimately impeccable. I just... Oh, God damn, bravo. Z, now that we're through that, can I screw that up? I'm assuming I can screw that part up, right? This place looks... Familiar? We've got company. Season security just came through. Guns in hand, not friendly. Had to hide under a desk. What do they want? The Torrens. They heard the broadcast. They want to contact it. I think they plan on taking it by force. Can they? No. Cons are still out. Stay clear of them, though. They're dangerous and desperate. Oh, shit. Oh, so you can blow up? Wow. Oh, boy. So these people... So we're talking humans with guns? So it would seem, Pterodactyl. Oh shit.
Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You didn't hear shit. Orbital stabilizers operating at eighty percent and falling. Sorry, guys, what was that? Oh, my God. Please be the right way. Oh my God. Find Ricardo. Okay. All right. I hate everything about this. Oh, I know where we are. There's like a, there's a save area up here. I hope. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Was that him in that area up there? Repeat. 
You okay? Listen, Marlow's permissions are still locked at this terminal. If we had the coordinates for the torrent, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. You should be able to find the torrent's coordinates using that. I'll get the door for you. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Fernando. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow, JX. Orbital stabilizers operating at 40% and falling. Oh, I hate this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stressed. Oh boy. Light blinking in my window. All right, so we got to go through here, down, left, up to the observatory. Okay. We got to hope to God Dickwad doesn't jump out of the vents and follow me. A vent on the floor somewhere. Shit. Shit. It was probably was it my reflection? I don't know. I don't see anybody out there. Ooh, this key... Oh, you're just messing with me. <laughs> Look at this keen map knowledge. Oh! What's up, Zandrush? Also, Jet, good to see you, friend. These dudes are armed with the T too, so like I don't know who I trust more, you or the synthetics. Nice and easy, Ryan. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's go. Let's go. No dicking around.
Uh, sir? You okay? Sir? Are you okay? Sir? I don't think he's okay. Use the tracking system to find the torrent. Okay. Activate observation platform. Match with match input keys with move keys and press enter to confirm. Oh, I see. Okay. Commence deep space scan. Move the keys to control the docking environment. Press enter to engage. Oh, what's up, Jay? Why do all future computers run on DOS? Because this was in the 70s and they didn't know how to anticipate what was coming up. It's kind of hilarious to see what people in the 70s thought the future was going to be like. Okay. Immense deep space scan. Okay, we're going outside. Okay. Um. How's your boy going to get out there? He wondered aloud. Guess down we go. Um, excuse me, sir. How do I get out? Oh. Um. The Anisadora explosion is compromised to possible stability. You must find a way to contact her lane on the torrent. Manually input torrent coordinates. Something tells me I should still be up here. See, because we have... All right, coordinate 35A. Seventy-five B. No, maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure, spider. Whenever the wall hits. My guess is probably when we get to the next autosave. Ish. I can unlock the entrance to the airlock from here. Give me a sec. There, got it. Oh, wait, was there a meet meet? Did I miss the meat meat? Oh well. Oh, we're going on a spacewalk, baby. bad boys on. Yeah. Glance at it slowly as if we've never seen one before. Oh. Okay. okay, this is, uh, 
we're, uh, we're going to get this uh, set up here. Uh, go ahead and do just, uh, let me just give me a second. Okay. All right. Uh, Appreciate Appreciate very much. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. We are now, uh, we are ready. I'm going to have to uh, communicate with all of you from the suit. All right. This is, uh, this is a little nerve-wracking, but I feel pretty confident in our ability to do this, chat. It's the door, Zine! <laughs> all right. We're going to go here on a, uh, we're going to go here on a, uh, spacewalk, uh, chat. Thank you very much for uh, coming along tonight for this. Really appreciate it. All right, there we go. Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Out the airlock we go. Uh, right. Holy shit. <laughs> Chat, uh... All the hell's gonna break loose when Sebastopol starts to fall. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This is fine. Thank God there's somehow gravity here. Don't really know how that's working, but hey, it's working. Oh boy. Raining apparently. I don't know. All right. Good. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Magnetic boots. Good call. Yeah, I like that. Something somewhere blew up. Yeah. I mean, the station is also theoretically moving, so. It's my, uh, it's my Go XLR, Bungie. Alright, here we go. 35A75B. I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, dish maintenance seems like it'll probably be safe, right? Like everything else, uh... Uh, this is very dark. I don't like this. Reboot array clamp controls. Yes. I'd like to do that. Power clamp release. Unlock emergency clamp. Hold on. 
Power a power up clamp release. Oh, okay, so there's three of them. Okay. Oh. Okay. Night Skog. Alright. And unlock the emergency clamp. Watcha. I run an i9-9900K, Grandpa. Honestly, pretty much anything will run Destiny. Destiny's one of the most well-optimized games there is. Like, you, you can... I used to be able to... I could run Destiny on my MacBook Pro from 2016 on 720p low settings. Like, you, you whatever you got, it'll run. Ridiculously well-optimized game. All right, I think, that, I think that's all I needed to do, so we're going to go back up. We're going to hope that this is it. Maybe nice and easy. So I gotta go back in. Return to Ricardo. Okay. We're getting out of here. When was the last time we saw the Xeno? Um, we technically. 
probably, I guess, have not seen Zeno yet tonight. We saw a face hugger, but we have not seen the Zeno yet. I'm pretty sure that the Zeno was in the vents at one point, though. I got a sense that she could have popped out. I don't know, though. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that, Corleana. I am definitely, definitely worried about it. Oh, oh A-Tray, what's up? Thank you so much for the raid. Hey. Uh, A-Tray, thank you so much for bringing everybody over here. Those of you coming along with A-Tray, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my normal voice back here for a second. I have a, I have a voice effect on because I'm technically in a spacesuit. Those of you coming along with A-Tray, if you haven't met me before, uh, I am Dr. Mick. I am a licensed couple and family therapist. I have a PhD in human development. This is Game Sessions with a Therapist where we play cool games, talk about mental health, psychology, therapy, and more in an effort to destigmatize those things and bring information to people who wouldn't otherwise have it in a responsible and ethical way. I do not do therapy on stream. It's unethical for me to do that, but I do answer questions related to mental health and you can tag me at any time. Normally I'm playing games like Destiny or Valheim, so I'm very chat centric and I'm always interacting with chat while I'm playing games. Tonight, because I'm playing Alien, it's a little bit more like story focused and whatnot. Uh, but A, I really hope you, Trey, I hope you had a really great stream. And I really, really, really appreciate the love and you bringing people my way again. Uh, I love Alien Isolation as well and I'm really grateful that you'd bring people along with you. Jimmy, Fictitious Houseplant, and Daniel, Dan, thank you so much for the follows. Really appreciate y'all. Uh, this is a, a blind playthrough. I have never oh, played this cool. game before. I don't know the plot. I don't know what's coming. So please do not uh, put any spoilers or any backseating in chat. It kind of ruins the fun for me and for everybody else. So sit back and, and relax and enjoy. And I hope I'll get to see you all again, uh, you know, also in the future. I appreciate the follows. Chumba Kyle, thank you so much for that uh, gifted sub to Fictitious Houseplant. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Back to my... In my, my space suit, so... My voice effect. Thank you, Trey. I appreciate you. This game can be very scary. It's been very intense tonight. Back into the... Back into the airlock we go. I had a horrible bug at this part. Oh, shit. Well, let's hope I don't hit it. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and change out of the suit. All right, there we go. We're gonna save. Yeah, no spoilers, please. No spoilers. Uh, Zine, also, I saw what you said, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I plan to, when I when I reach a nice stopping point, that's probably where I will end. So we're going to go out. We're going to go to the right. Got to go all the way back to Ricardo. Up we go, baby. Ricardo, get ready to move. We're leaving. Ricardo? Ricardo, do you copy? Ricardo, come in. Oh, boy. I seriously, Chumba, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. No, 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 no.
I'm playing on medium, Jimmy. There were humans down here. Come on, someone wants to help soon. We got to go all the way around. Oh. Okay, come on, baby.
Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh my god. Uh, Ape Junk, thank you for the follow. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it! Pay out the- Pay it out, baby! I didn't die! I didn't die! Let's go!